And that unity can be spread to others once man centers himself. It's called balance. It's something like what we call the hermetic principles, the principle of polarity, mm -hmm. meeting oneself in the middle, mm -hmm. having some kind of balance in our lives. When we were, uh, when we, our people, accepted those marks of Negro, black, and colored, and also began to call Europeans white, mm -hmm. in which they are not, and they are Europeans, we lost the balance. Mm -hmm. And the Prophet Noble Durali's teachings helps us to get that balance back. Oh, okay also helps us to understand that we are spiritual beings. Mm -hmm. We're not uh, supposed to be so concerned with the manifest mm -hmm. that our richness lies in our spirit. And that is what we are, we are ultimately after to inhabit the spirit life once again with our Father God Allah. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes, right. thank you. That's beautiful. And, and I just wanted to, I just wanted people to know that it, it's, it's not just uh, us, you yes. know, all people have to come to that conclusion yes. at one time or the other. Oh, yeah. All people do. Yeah. You know, and if you don't, you maybe, I shouldn't say this, but you keep coming back and back until you learn. Until <laughs> you learn. Uh, maybe I shouldn't say it that. But you know something, uh, now that you've commented on that, and I, want, and I want people to know that we are all connected, all of us. It's nothing but a cold white diamond. You take a beautiful piece of coal and a beautiful, shiny, dark piece of coal, and you strike a match, it becomes white. Left alone for many years is what? A diamond. beautiful diamond. Yes. So that's all it is. And we are all connected. Oh, we are. Yeah. But man has to know that. Mm -hmm. So we say, according to the prophet Noble Ali, that man is victorious. Mm -hmm. Victory is his. You know, victory mm -hmm. is leading on because the law is leading on, the Father mm -hmm. God. He cannot lose, right. but he has to know that. Because unfortunately, as the Prophet Noble Drali teaches us, at one point in our existence, we tore ourselves away from Allah. We thought that there was no one else but us, mm -hmm. debased ourselves. But man has to realize that he and the Father God, who we call Allah, are one, right. like you just said. Mm -hmm. It's a diamond in the rough. Mm -hmm. His, our richness, no matter who you are, mm -hmm. lies in that inner part of us, that part of of him, when he said he made us in his image, mm -hmm. a part of him is inside of us. Right. And we know we have to know that mm -hmm. by practicing and proclaiming those great principles, again, of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, mm -hmm. which was taught at 3140 Indiana mm -hmm. to those people who galvanized political power. Mm -hmm. Not only was love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice taught there, mm -hmm. it was demonstrated there to mm -hmm. its highest height mm -hmm. and that it vibrated with so much energy there that the energy still exists there today. Mm -hmm. Now, there's some who say, well, there's something happened on the second floor years ago. Mm -hmm. But let's keep in mind that 3140 South Indiana is our only national archive that we as a people can be proud of as Moorish Americans exactly. and those who are concerned with African those of African descent who are mm -hmm. concerned with some kind of physical relic right. that we can relate to in our right. community. Exactly. I mean, they look for opportunities to tear the tear down, mm -hmm. regentrify the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. 3140 South Indiana is the only physical building that we know we have left mm -hmm. that we can go into and we can say, I remember the time that mm -hmm. we did this there, we did that there. Right. Yeah. We need something that we can show to the people. Our plans is to take 3140 South Indiana, mm -hmm. open it up to the public, mm -hmm. to the people of African descent, the community, have a library there, mm -hmm. schools, and have a learning center there. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you can be there, Carol, and, and teach more people about the ABCs of lessons, mm -hmm. uh, what your program is all about, you mm -hmm. know, the, mm -hmm. the things that we have to offer to people in the community. Mm -hmm. We hope that when the tour bus comes down the Bronzeville mm -hmm. area, mm -hmm. they can stop and have a tour at 3140 South Indiana and right. enjoy every moment of it, right, right. the good and the bad. Right, exactly. Because history is history. Right. Some of it is sweet, some, some of, of it is not. Yeah, you know? lower self and higher self. Uh, lower self, <laughs> but it's our history. It's right, ours. Exactly, exactly, exactly. That's 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 beautiful. And you know something? Before before we close, I'll try to get it to uh, President Obama. Your thoughts on President Obama? Oh, isn't that wonderful? I'm glad you mm -hmm. asked me that. Mm -hmm. Most people do not realize 
that President Barack Obama is not black. Exactly. Let's exactly. talk about that. Yes. You know, there yes. was uh, Trump who says, well, we want to see his <laughs> birth, birth certificate. certificate right? And he held back for whatever reason that right. we know of. We don't mm -hmm. know, but I know mm -hmm. that I subscribe to the Chicago Tribune newspaper. And mm -hmm. one day I pick up the newspaper, mm -hmm. Sister Curl Bolton here, and there his birth certificate is. Yeah. And it did said nothing about black. <laughs> It said African, it said Kenyan. He doesn't, it's, that's what it said. It didn't say anything. But most of our people, through their ignorance, right. oh, he's the first black president. You never hear, heard him admit to that. No. And no. that's the truth. Right. Now let's talk about Kenya, for example. Mm -hmm. Kenya, one time, was a part of what we call Egypt. Mm -hmm. And there is where some of the great pharaohs mm -hmm. came from. Mm -hmm. In fact, Pharaoh is a title given to our ruler, mm -hmm. which means absolute ruler. Mm -hmm. So quite naturally, he comes, his, his nationality comes from a long line of, of, of rulers. Right. So quite naturally. Mm -hmm. But it's interesting that we would talk about that even so because he was a part of those people who galvanized political power mm -hmm. at 3140 South <laughs> Indiana. You know, Emil Jones, who practically raised him mm -hmm. in the state, mm -hmm. had long, strong ties to Oscar de Priest, mm -hmm. William Dawson, mm -hmm. Claude B. Holman, mm -hmm. and uh, many, many more mm -hmm. who, uh, who, who, were, who were political geniuses of that time and that day. Mm -hmm. We know that William L. Dawson, we call him William Dawson Bay, mm -hmm. was one of the chief instigators of having Mayor Daley run for office mm. when he was a member of the Hamburg Club in Bridgeport. Mm. You know, he was one of the chief persons who says, listen, come on, we can do this. We'll do this, you do that. Because by that time, they had developed such a strong organization in the second ward that they were able to move political candidates into the arena. Mm -hmm. Let's not forget that the, the, uh, the Chicago vote was overwhelming to put Barack Obama into the office of president. Mm -hmm. uh, the Chicago vote has always been instrumental, even in putting President Kennedy in office, mm -hmm. our past president mm -hmm. of the United States of America. Mm -hmm. So Barack Obama, when you talk about his, his political savvy, mm -hmm. it was done, it, he was taught and trained by those who were heavily connected to that building of 3140 South Indiana Avenue. <laughs> So, I mean, and I think that Barack Obama is one of our better presidents. Yes. You know, yes. we support our presidents mm -hmm. because the people have elected them to be presidents, to right. be our representative right. in the United States of America mm -hmm. and also all over the world. Right. Um, we, we could talk about Barack Obama <laughs> all day long. I have never had the honor and the pleasure of meeting him right. face to face, but mm -hmm. I, I try to follow some of the things that he says and he does, and I believe he's a sincere president. Yeah, I do too. I believe that he means well. Right. He means well for all of the people. And mm -hmm. what most people don't realize that being a president, as well as being the Supreme Grand Sheik and Chairman, you have to be the president for everybody. Exactly. You exactly. can't be the president for one particular group <laughs> because uh, the president of the United States of America represents the citizens. Exactly. exactly. And the citizens are us who have proclaimed right. their nationality right. and not those people who have hung on to those those marks mm -hmm. and, and enjoy citizenship only on the granted privilege. Right, exactly. And that privilege, as we know, can be taken away right, anytime right. they get ready. How many years it, it, for, they have to vote us in, they have to vote to see whether we can vote or not. Right. You know? Or they can vote. Or yeah. they can they can vote. Yeah. I can vote when I get ready. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I vote. What I citizen in any country need a voting rights bill? No. If no, you're a citizen, no. you don't need a voting rights no, bill. No. Now, if you're not a citizen, you're going to need, need a, a voting, voting rights, rights bill. bill. That's right. That's right. So our people need to wake up because, right. Right. as Malcolm said, they've been bamboozled. Yes, they have. They've yes, been they have. had. Yes, they and have. And as the prophet said, somebody knocked them in the head <laughs> in the noon hour of the day. <laughs> where they can't see. Exactly. They've become blastomycotic, if you will. <laughs> I love that word. Their actions have become ramphacious uh, in actuality. But it's a new light here, right. and that light is represented by the teachings of the prophet Noble Jerusalem. Yes. yes. And we are on the road to restore 3140 40. Indiana. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. for all of the people, not yes. just for the Moorish Americans, because right. everybody got a piece of history there. Thank you. Who's been involved in the struggle and mm -hmm. the and the uh, uplifting of our people mm -hmm. to uplift themselves to a higher level. Right. To obtain the greatest that's in them. Yes. You know, you and I, Sister Carol, we have a mantra, as mm -hmm. well as all Moorish Americans, mm -hmm. not not just from the movie, I am the greatest, because right. we know because of the teachings of Noble Drew Ali, we are the greatest. All right, all right, we are the greatest. See, I had to roar that out. <laughs> <laughs> we are the greatest. Yeah, and I, I, Roar. <laughs> Yeah, I do want to roar, but <laughs> <laughs> but I I, I, I I want to tell all, all Moorish Americans too, because a lot of Moorish Americans they do do watch and they call, but I want to tell them no, that's because I, you don't see me in the temple. Noble Drew Ali came to me and he got me out of the temple. It's something he wanted me to do outside of the temple, and whatever that is, I try to do it. If I have that feeling, that's what I think. You know, he he's pushing me. That's where he's pushing me. And so that that's why you don't see me at the temple all the time. Well, and all when we this do stuff. see you, we're glad to see you. Well, I appreciate it. We know I your heart. It. We know your intentions. Right. Right. And ain't no love lost because we love you. <laughs> I appreciate. I appreciate we love that. You. And so, but but uh, if you don't see me in the temple, it's because he did. He did came, come and he got me out. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to get out, so he started the argument. Okay. And so he, I, you know, after that, I knew that's what he wanted. I, you know, that's the not. vision that I had, I knew that's that's what what he wanted me to do. So he wanted me to do things outside, and that's what I try to do. Good. And I try I try my best to do whatever he he asked me to do. Well, I hope, you know? Sister Carol, those Moorish Americans that call you. Mm -hmm. I would hope that they would also extend to the people that we don't, we're not anti-American. Right, exactly. Never have been. Exactly. I hope they extend that mm -hmm. we do not teach how to dodge taxes, how to drive right. without license. Right. That's not what we do. No. Mm -hmm. We don't teach how to get your debt clear, you know. That's mm -hmm. not what Nova Drali teaches. No. Mm -hmm. He has never taught that and he right. never will teach that. Right. We teach two things, nationality and divine creed. No, I didn't say that. Right. <laughs> That's in Act 6 of our divine constitution and bylaws. Right, right. We are teaching our people their nationality mm -hmm. and their divine creed. Mm -hmm. Now, what has that got to do with how to beat somebody <laughs> out of something? You know, a nationality card for our people, mm -hmm. for them to get identified again, mm -hmm. right. it costs a, a dollar and 35 cents. Right. And that's the cost that you pay for the materials. Right, right. So if there's anyone out there who's charging these um, these fees that go into the hundreds and hundreds right. of dollars, mm -hmm. again, you're being duped. Right, exactly. You're being exactly. hacked. Exactly. Because that is not Noble Drew Ali. No. no that is not. not his teachings, and we have to constantly make the difference in that. Right. Well, well when I say uh, they, they call me, I mean, you know, they're, they're saying, well, we don't see you in the temple, or we don't do this, and we don't do that. But I, I just want to t let them know that I'm, I'm doing what he wants me to do. Sister, we love you. Thank you. I appreciate it. And you know that. <laughs> We love you, and we love your two beautiful sons, right. Right. both and, of them. And um, uh, and plus, my my older son, he had he had said that, uh, yeah, I may not go to the temple, but I'm just not a faithful more. I'm still a more. Yeah, yes, yes, <laughs> so yes. maybe I'm not a faithful more, but I'm yes. still a more. And you Nate's can't a take that man. away from me. He's a good man. Right, right. You can't take that away. You did from a good me. job, sister. Thank you. I appreciate it. You did a good job. <laughs> I appreciate it. I remember those days where we mm -hmm. used to get together, right, right, all right. night long and talk about right. the prophet, no matter how Right now. Wasn't that wonderful? It was. It really was. Uh, I love it. It was. And, w and we're going we're gonna to do something with this building. Uh, if, we, if we have to be on every week almost, we're going <laughs> <That's not. laughs> to try. Because you know something I, I, I found, and I, I've listened, and, and I try, try to listen, and I usually listen very well. But uh, s some of these ornaments and stuff of our hue and our hair texture, I think some of them are carrying a card. I really do. That wouldn't surprise me. I, you know, I know really one. Either kind of surprised but no but he told me he said yeah I got my card and swap for whatever year but he doesn't use the eel or the bay yeah. and so that made me think that a lot of them do you understand what I'm saying of a, course. A, a lot of a lot of them are card holding moors well know? the prophet said for us to go to those who know law and you right. know during the day of the prophet mm -hmm. it's interesting that you can say that because many of our people especially those on the supreme grand council mm -hmm. later became u.s representatives mm -hmm. judges mm -hmm. they became uh legislators in, in national and local government mm -hmm. And, and it was very common to see the captain of police with ill and bay on their name in right. chicago or police officers period because mm -hmm. let's face it nationality uh, the door to nationality swings open to everyone right. and everyone who at one time called themselves negro black and colored now have the opportunity to regain their nationality right. uh, back 
uh, which is the legal thing to do. Right, exactly. So uh, again, now this more Science Temple of America still opens mm -hmm. to everyone, whether they're aldermen, whether they're president of the United States of mm -hmm. America, <laughs> whether they're uh, statesmen or right. uh, FBI agents, CIA agents, mm -hmm. mailmen, mm -hmm. and to the one who stands on the corner selling, selling streetwise newspapers. Right, right. The nationality, the, the filter nationality for our people mm -hmm. who want to get back what was lost is open to everyone. Exactly. And exactly. I think when the prophet Nova Drali came, he didn't he didn't say, well, you come, you stay. Right. He mm -hmm. picked all of his people mm -hmm. who had no knowledge of their nationality. Mm -hmm. Now they can have knowledge of their nationality mm -hmm. and be proud citizens of this great country, United States of America. Yes, brother. And you know something, I uh, we really need to really start getting back deeper and deeper into this because all of the older people who know the law the law that Noble Joe Ali had, uh, you know, had 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 set. Well, he didn't set it up. It was just the law, and he explained it to us. And mm -hmm. and the, the old uh, Europeans that knew the law, just about all of them are gone. So we need to get back in there and start uh, educating. Yes. And start, uh, you know, let, letting these people know exactly what's going on. Because I know on my card, my uh, one of the uh, the precinct captains, she had told me when I had gone to vote, she had told me she said your 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 card is different than your sons, because we all voted, we always vote. Mm. And, uh, and I, I didn't think about it at first, and then I thought about it, because the one when I went and changed my voter's registration card, it was the old European lady there. Mm -hmm. And she, told, she said, no, your middle name is Bolton, your last name is Al. Right. But I know she's probably gone now. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So all the ones that knew the law, and we need to uh, let people know that uh, there is a law, you know, yeah. and we need to abide by the law, and we need to start practicing the eel, you know, using the eel in the bait. Well, because the prophet said, the Europeans are glad to see me bring you out of exactly. darkness into the marvelous light, and they were. Right. Because they knew that you had to eventually come back to what was yours anyway. Right, exactly. You know, the Moorish American history goes beyond slavery, it goes right. way back before that. Right. But many of our people think, oh, I can just trace myself back to when I was a slave. <laughs> in actuality, you were a captive of a religious war. Exactly. exactly. But you can trace yourself back to your Moorish ancestry mm -hmm. through the teachings of the Prophet Noble Jawali. Right. But you can't do this on your own. You have to come to the Moorish Science Temple right. of America yes. and get your nationality back. Right. And 3140 was where most of our people came during the time of the Prophet, that building, mm -hmm. to regain their nationality, right. their, their free national name mm -hmm. as Moorish Americans. Right. That is why, again, I can't say it enough. It is very important that we restore 3140 South Indiana, mm -hmm. not only for the Moorish American community, for the Jewish community as well, mm -hmm. because they had it as Lakeside Club. Right, exactly. Not only to the Jewish community, but those who have African descent who would love to see something that we have had of our own right. that we're now in control again, that they can enjoy as well. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly, and have some pride. Yes, have, have some pride, pride. exactly. Some pride, yeah. right. exactly. That's, that's beautiful. You know something, I, I, I was reading, um, I've got 50 million books. But anyway, uh, and, and, and I'm not that smart. You know? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not that smart. But anyway, I, I was reading it in uh, one, of the, one of my little books about enlightenment. Mm. You know, like the, they, they're saying that the, uh, the what you got, forefathers of this country, mm -hmm. uh, they were enlightened, which means that... Uh, that they believed in everyone the, had a right for freedom, happiness, and it was one other thing I had forgotten. Mm -hmm, the liberty, but, the pursuit of happiness. And the pursuit of happiness. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and, and so uh, what do you think about this in light? If they were enlightened but still had that type of constitution, what, what was going on Well, there? we do know, according to the prophet Nova Jirali, that the free, uh, he says there's no need for the 14th and 15th Amendment. Mm -hmm in reference to our people becoming citizens. Mm -hmm. uh, and he referred to the Free National Constitution of 1774, mm -hmm. in which many of those European nations said they would have nothing to do with, with human bondage, human slave. Mm -hmm. They were enlightened. Mm -hmm. They were enlightened, and, they, and Benjamin Franklin and many of mm -hmm. what we consider as the founding fathers mm -hmm. of the United States of America was enlightened as well. In mm -hmm. fact, it was our country, the Moroccan Empire, 
who recognized the new government before any country did mm. in 1787 mm. with the Treaty of Morocco, the longest treaty that has never been broken mm. uh, with the United States of America. I mean, there's uh, about 12 volumes of books called the U.S. Treaties and Codes, mm. where our country has made treaties with all kinds of uh, nations, including the Cherokee Nation, which mm. they recognize as a nation. Mm. But the longest treaty that has never been broken is the Treaty of Morocco of 1787, mm. uh, in which we recognize the United States of America as a new country and accept it as a sovereign power. Mm -hmm. Now, they had to be enlightened mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. they knew who we were right. and they knew who we are, they, knew, they know who we are to this very day. Right, exactly. They're enlightened that we are Moorish. Mm -hmm. They're enlightened that we have a right to claim that nationality again mm -hmm. that was taken away from us in 1774, uh, and, and they made it legal in 1779. Mm -hmm. uh, according to them, some of them did that, mm -hmm. and lasting until 1865 during the time of slavery. Mm -hmm. this, this information, as you and I know, is all in the teachings of the Prophet Noble Jir Ali. Mm -hmm. This kind of information was a power keg that opened up the eyes for many of our political geniuses of that day mm -hmm. who again who were able to put together political strength out of that building at 3140 South Indiana Avenue. Right, right. Uh, that genius and the prophet talked about it. Mm -hmm. He says I expect for you to push our agenda forward even more so in that you will go to the United States of America, you will go to uh, different people who will let our people know to stop clinging on to names and principles that delude to slavery. Right. Come out of the darkness, he yeah, says. And he says, I love my people and mm -hmm. desire their unity mm -hmm. and mind back to their free national standards. Right. And, and this is why he expected those political people mm -hmm. to influence perhaps the media of that day as the as well as the media of this day to get on the five o'clock news mm -hmm. and get on the ten o'clock news and say hey anybody out there that's been calling themselves negro black and colored mm -hmm. it is time for you to recognize your nationality mm -hmm. which is moorish american exactly it is time for you to proclaim your nationality which is moorish american right also you people out there who've been calling yourself white mm -hmm. It's time for you to stop calling yourself white mm -hmm. because white also is not a nationality. Exactly. Say who you are. Right. If you're Polish American, say it. Mm -hmm. If you're Irish American, say it. Right. If you're Italian American, say it. Right. You can't be Italian American and white right. at the same time. <laughs> Okay. Can I say something? <laughs> no. I'm repeating right, right. the words of this nope. great man, <laughs> Prophet Noble Jirali. Exactly. And he said we can repeat whatever he said. Thank you. Thank you. Now, is there discord in the more science of America? Perhaps. Mm -hmm. But we, we iron that out. Yes, we will. Right. Is one group saying this way? Mm -hmm. You know, no group can say anything other than what the Prophet Noble Jirali has given us. Mm -hmm. Do we need to work on ourselves internally? Yes, we do. Right. Right. But that's internal work, mm -hmm. Sister Curl. All right. The message is still the same. Mm -hmm. You must be recognized in the government in which you live by your free national name. Right. You must be recognized by name and principle and religion. Right. Not only here, but all over the world. Right, exactly. Our prophet says that if you go to a country and you can't, rec you can't say who you are, then you become a soccer ball, so to speak. <laughs> you're kicked around. You're misused. Right, 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 right. And you're talked about because you have not said to yourself and to the world who you really are. Right, exactly. And we are teaching our people their nationality and their yeah. divine creed. Right, and you're so, having the last word, so you keep going, and, and you can go <laughs> out. And if whatever else you want to say, because we only have, what, about uh, 40 seconds left. Please help us to restore Unity Hall at 3140 Indiana. Help us. Mm -hmm. We need your help. You're going to see our address on the screen. You're going to see our phone number and our email on the screen. There's so many ways you can help us restore that building at 3140 Indiana. Remember, that building represents you and I. Take away the negativity and bring in the positivity. Accentuate the positive 
of 3140 South Indiana, Chicago, Illinois. This is part of our heritage, and Sister Carol Bolton Neal is doing a wonderful job in bringing this message to you. I want to thank you, Sister Carol Bolton Neal. I want to welcome. thank your crew. Mm -hmm. A very wonderful crew. I want to crew. I want to thank the citizens of Chicago and uh, 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 Illinois, mm -hmm. and we expect to hear from you very soon. And re we expect to see some help from you, right? Exactly. And restoring this marvelous building back mm -hmm. to its grandeur, right. as our Prophet Nobudrali and those who came following him in that day would like to see us grab hold to some part of history mm -hmm. that we can relate to mm. for our people. And he is in the history books. You know, yes. he's in the history books. He's in the encyclopedia. You know, he, he, he's everywhere. They yes. recognize him. You know, this government recognizes Noble Dr. Ali. Exactly. They have to. Exactly. They have to. Exactly. You know, so uh, we, need, we need to start recognizing ourselves. We do. As well as our prophet. Yes, we you do. You know, because he brought us so very much. And we, only, we still have a minute to go. And I thought they had told me you only had a minute to talk. <laughs> but you can, you can. Uh, He's saying the gentleman with the unk. Oh, is saying the, this. the one with the unk. And I usually wear my unk, but he's saying wrap up. So I'm, we're going to wrap up. And you, you had this last word, and you can give him another, if something else, if you want. We say, Sai Gai Wa Peng, in Chinese, peace to the world. Mm -hmm. We say, Assalamu alaikum, mm -hmm. in Arabic, mm -hmm. peace be with you. In Espanol, we say, La Paz esté, contigo esté.